Today's thought is for August the 14th, based on the readings 1 Kings 9, Jeremiah 35, and Mark chapter 9. The theme for the thought is, they have not listened. Have you heard of the Rechabites? Jeremiah is told to go to the house of the Rechabites and bring them into the house of the Lord, then offer them wine to drink. This event was to be a lesson which Jeremiah could convey to the people. Jeremiah says, I brought them to the house of the Lord, into the chamber of the sons of Hanan, and set before the Rechabites pitchers full of wine and cups, and I said to them, Drink wine. But they refused, saying, We will not drink wine, for Jonadab, the son of Rechab, our father, commanded us, You shall not drink wine, neither you nor your sons for ever. We have obeyed the voice of Jonadab in all that he has commanded us. The Lord then tells Jeremiah, Go and say to the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Will you not receive instruction and listen to my words, declares the Lord? The command that Jonadab, the son of Rechab, came to, gave to his sons to drink what, no wine, has been kept, and they drunk none to this day, for they have obeyed their father's command. I have spoken to you persistently, but you have not listened to me. I have sent to you all my servants, saying, Turn every one of you from his evil way, amend your deeds. But you did not incline your ear or listen to me. Because of this willful deafness, the warning from the Lord God goes forth. Behold, I am bringing all disaster I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken to them, and they have not listened. Today, surely God can say something like, My words that I cause to be written, and preserved, and spread into all languages, is no longer read. Nearly all the people alive today do not want to know. They have not read or listened. Instead, they listen to a multitude of voices and sounds made by those who do not know me, many saying, there is no God. We should heed and be in awe of. Those who read God's word must say to each other, let us make sure we are not among those who have not listened. And when we listen, we read. What is the result? If we do so sincerely with all our heart, Jesus told his disciples, You are clean because of the word that I have spoken unto you. We can see how that word changes the disciples' lives when they realise their Saviour had died for them. May our listening have the same effect.
This thought was written by David Cowdery. To read this thought online or to view and purchase other Christadelphian literature, please come to www.thechristadelphian.com.